are people usually saying, what the hell have I got myself into, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, we're out in the woods, they're talking about bears coming to get us, and, uh, you know, with a lot of folks that we don't know. So, but it gets better from here. What we're going to do this week is you this is a class of leadership. So we're going to do, in, in my class, it's the same chairs all week. And in this class, cheating is mandatory. In leadership, Talk about the rules of the class in a second. You get yourself too comfortable. Alright? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn Spanish. Okay? So we're gonna learn to count Spanish. So how do you say one? Uno. Uno. But you got a card name, right? Because of that. What's two? Oh, okay. Uno goes. What's three? Three. 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 three? That's all you gotta know. Uno is gonna sit on the first table. Those is sit here, Trace is sit there. What's the text on? Fabric. Fabric, right? So textile is a fabric, and you basically have two different kinds of fabric. Anybody know how it divides up? But let's say the, the fabric that our scene ostensibly worked on, denim, right? Where does that come from? Cotton, right? So cotton is what's called a natural Fiber, right? It's a real thing, right? But there are other fabrics that are not natural. Rayon, polyester, acetate, all that stuff. And it's kind of interesting. The this kind of fiber, the natural fiber, you make by what's called weaving, right? So you they, they have looms that weave the fiber, and you, you take these these pieces. It's almost like uh, like a piece of rope, right? J. P. Stevens, mm -hmm. right? Anybody ever hear of West Point or West Point Pepper? Yeah. Right? right? They eventually bought J.P. Stevens. How about Springs? Yeah. Wamsuda, Spring Made, all of those different and women's. Although there's some that are both. <laughs> I don't mean the people, I mean the clothes. Right? <laughs> there are some companies that like Levi's can make with men's jeans, women's jeans, all that kind of stuff, right? But there are there were two unions. There was one union that made men's clothing. And there was another union that made women's clothing, right? Anybody know the name of the union that made the men's clothing? Some of you, some of your locals, that's where your local comes from, right? We have some locals in our union that still have after their name the letter T or C. You're actually, there were unions where people spoke six or seven different languages. So you had, so you had Jewish people uh, who sometimes spoke a language that Jews speak called Yiddish. But sometimes came from other countries, so they would speak the language of that country. So they could come from Poland, they could come from uh, Yugoslavia, they could come from Russia, they could come from all, they would speak that language. Uh, they were Irish immigrants, but mainly Italian. You're right, it's to make it so the businesses can be stronger, so the unions can't fight as hard because half the people have already given up, right? Every single person who doesn't pay dues to the union is saying to the company, I'm not willing to fight for myself, I'm not willing